Something is happening in the solar system that no researcher can really explain. Since the interstellar comet 3I Atlas was discovered in July, it has been presenting experts with ever new puzzles. This cosmic visitor exhibits properties that have never been observed in any other comet. It looks strange, it moves strangely, and its light scattering and polarization, or in other words, the way sunlight is reflected by its dust and ice particles, are unusually strong and do not fit into any previously known category. In fact, the latest data is so surprising that even experienced astronomers are left wondering, what is really behind our guest from interstellar space? Is this just a new type of comet that has entered our home world? Or are we dealing with a phenomenon that could fundamentally change our understanding of the universe? Be sure to stay tuned until the end because the latest observations provide clues that absolutely no one would have expected. 3I Atlas is only the third interstellar visitor we have been able to observe in the solar system so far. Its two predecessors were detected in 2017 and 2019, and indeed, Oumuamua and 2I Borisov already made headlines. While Borisov presented itself as a largely normal comet, Oumuamua classified itself somewhere between an asteroid and a comet, and it confused scientists with a number of strange properties, such as a lack of dust formation and a mysterious acceleration near the Sun. But 3I Atlas goes one step further and behaves differently in several ways from anything we have known before. Its composition, light scattering, and even its polarization suggest that we may be dealing with a completely new type of interstellar object. And that is precisely what makes this visitor a particularly exciting case for astronomers. Accordingly, 3I Atlas shows us firsthand the diversity of celestial bodies originating from other star systems, and confronts us with characteristics that our previous models cannot explain. Since its discovery on July 1st, 3I Atlas has been examined closely using several telescopes, such as the Very Large Telescope in Chile, and the Nordic Optical Telescope on La Palma, and its light polarization has now stood out in particular. Basically, polarimetry measures how light is reflected by dust particles in the coma, or in other words, the envelope of a comet, and thus provides information about the size, shape, and composition of these particles. However, 3I Atlas exhibits extremely strong negative polarization, which has astonished even experienced scientists. Specifically, a minimum value of minus 2.7% was measured at a phase angle of 7 degrees. But what does that actually mean? Well, the term phase angle describes the angle at which light is reflected from a celestial body to Earth. Polarization, in turn, refers to the direction of the light waves. When sunlight is scattered by dust particles, some of the light waves align in a certain direction with the polarization being positive or negative depending on the alignment. And in the case of 3I Atlas, the light exhibits unusual behavior even at an almost frontal viewing angle. Normally, hardly any polarization is measurable at a phase angle of only 7 degrees. In the case of our visitor, however, it's minus 2.7%, a value that has not been observed in any other comet to date. Specifically, this unexpected circumstance indicates that the dust and ice particles in the coma are larger or differently structured than in ordinary comets. In addition, the so-called inversion angle, or in other words, the point at which the polarization changes from negative to positive, is only 17 degrees. By comparison, the inversion angle for normal comets is usually between 20 and 22 degrees. All in all, the combination of strong negative polarization and low inversion angle suggests that 3I Atlas represents a completely new type of comet, the composition and properties of which we did not previously know. The Expert's Attempts at Explanation This naturally raises the question of how the observed characteristics can be explained from a scientific point of view. Experts suggest that the extremely negative polarization and unusually low inversion angle 
indicate that the dust and ice particles in the coma are larger or more porous than in ordinary comets. According to this, laboratory tests and theoretical models show that porous particles that enclose ice or are covered by thin layers of frost on their dark surface can produce precisely such polarization effects, especially at small phase angles such as the 7 degrees at which 3I Atlas was observed. At the same time, however, the experts emphasize that the measurements so far only represent an upper limit. Data at even smaller phase angles are still lacking, and further observations after perihelion, the point closest to the Sun on 3I Atlas's orbit, will be crucial to confirm the polarimetric behavior. Compared to known comets, the cosmic intruder exhibits properties that do not fit into any of the known categories. Its characteristics are more reminiscent of trans-Neptunian objects, celestial bodies that travel far beyond Neptune's orbit. Spectroscopic observations also provide exciting clues. The light reflected by 3I Atlas indicates water ice and a dark, reddish surface that is probably rich in carbon compounds. We are familiar with this composition from objects in the outer regions of the solar system, which often consists of a mixture of ice and carbonaceous dust. However, it's now certain that our guest does not originate from the outer regions of our home world. But, so where does 3I Atlas come from? The trajectory of 3I Atlas clearly shows that it is not gravitationally bound to the Sun and will leave our system again after its passage. So its roots lie in another system. But where exactly? Well, analyses suggest that 3I Atlas may have come to us from the so-called thick disk of the Milky Way. In contrast to the thin disk, which contains young stars with high metallicity, the thick disk consists mainly of older stars with lower metallicity. This means that the home star of 3I Atlas contains fewer heavy elements than our Sun and thus has a different chemical composition. This is also reflected in the composition of the comet. Measurements have shown that the comet's coma is particularly rich in carbon dioxide, while the proportion of hydrogen molecules is significantly lower than we are used to seeing in typical comets. Normally, Comets contain significantly more H2O than CO2, but that's not all. Nickel has also been detected in the coma of 3I Atlas, which in itself would not be unusual if it had been observed in combination with other elements. In normal comets, nickel is released with iron or in metal-containing compounds as soon as solar radiation loosens the particles from the surface. In 3I Atlas, however, the nickel appears in isolation without any accompanying substances. And far away from the sun, where natural evaporation of metal is not expected. What this means is still unclear and shows once again how different this interstellar visitor is. In addition, 3I Atlas suddenly glowed green in early September, even though it contains hardly any molecules such as dicarbon, which are normally responsible for such a color spectacle. Furthermore, as it approached the sun, the object showed a significant increase in brightness, indicating increased activity in the coma. Normally, a comet becomes brighter when ice and other volatile substances evaporate due to solar radiation. However, this is particularly interesting in the case of 3I Atlas, because the increase in brightness is not proportional to its proximity to the sun, and the combination of high CO2 content, nickel in the coma, and the absence of dicarbon molecules could explain what is going on. According to this, the CO2 could cause the substances to sublimate at a greater distance from the sun, or in other words, to transition directly from a solid to a gaseous state. This keeps the coma active and makes it glow brighter, while the nickel could also influence light reflection, even if the exact mechanisms for this still need to be explored in the future. How Mars Probes Are Advancing Observation However, the chunk is surprising not only because of its composition and polarization, but also because of its physical properties. Initial estimates suggested that the comet could be up to 24 kilometers in size, but a maximum size of 5.6 kilometers is now considered more likely. This still makes 3I Atlas the largest member of the interstellar trio. While Oumuamua was only a few hundred meters in size, 2I Borisov had a diameter 
of about one kilometer. But the tail is also behaving unusually. Already in the first observations, a diffuse coma was visible, which grew steadily as it approached the sun. What was striking at first was that a small tail pointed confusingly toward the sun instead of away from it, as is the case with ordinary comets. Over time, however, a longer tail developed, which eventually extended in the usual direction away from the sun. What remains exciting, however, is that the polarimetric measurements across the entire coma are very homogeneous, suggesting that the dust and ice particles are evenly distributed throughout the comet, which is not a given for objects of this size and origin. What is obvious, however, is that observations of 3i Atlas are far from complete, and the fact that the chunk is currently no longer visible from Earth does not change that. In fact, Interstellar research teams are quickly using other perspectives to keep an eye on the object, and observations from Mars are particularly exciting. The ESA's Trace Gas Orbiter spacecraft was able to photograph 3i Atlas from the orbit of the Red Planet, and Mars Express also attempted to photograph the comet. In addition, NASA's Perseverance rover captured a unique image showing the comet's movement across the Martian sky. And even though Perseverance is not a James Webb telescope, of course, and only captured 3i Atlas as a faint, diffuse glow, the image is still of historical significance. It is the first time that an interstellar visitor has been observed from the perspective of another planet. And you're welcome to watch our videos from a subscriber's perspective in the future. Simply click on the thumbs up button and subscribe so you never miss a new post from us again. We'll see you soon.